things about helping people as an attorney in the area of medical malpractice is I get to learn a lot about narrow areas of medicine as it relates to the law. One of the areas where I spent a lot of time on cases is brain injuries and in particular uh, the tragedies of brain injured babies. And as a father of four, these type of injuries are particularly uh, bothersome to me. And in case you or a loved one are going through a pregnancy and are uh, looking forward to a successful healthy delivery, I want to share with you some observations that I have on some things that you could do as a patient or family member to prevent uh, these type of brain injuries. As you get closer and closer to, uh, to delivery, let's say about 30 weeks plus, uh, one of the most important things to look out for are fetal movements. And each mom will tell you how their baby reacts. Uh, some of them will be up kicking at night, some during the day, and, and so forth. You want to pay close attention to that uh, fetal movement pattern. If that changes, it's very important to report that to the doctor. And the reason is, as you get closer to the delivery date, a decrease in fetal movement is one of the earliest indicators, one of the earliest indicators of a problem with the baby. And that needs to be communicated by you to the doctor immediately. Now, I'm working on some cases right now where I've seen that the doctors and the doctor's staff don't take the mom's complaints of fetal movements as seriously as they should. And in those cases, unfortunately, if they had acted quicker, uh, we believe that uh, some terrible brain injuries could have been avoided. So you have to be politely pushy when it comes to communicating a change in fetal movement. You go to the gatekeeper, the receptionist or a nurse at your ob office, and that person says, you don't need to see the doctor, just go drink some juice and get the baby to perk up, go rest or go run or whatever and try to wake up the baby. Tell them that I really want to see the doctor. You really want to have a thorough evaluation by the doctor because you're concerned about a decrease in fetal movement. And no one will know better about a decrease in fetal movement than the mom. So number one, make sure you get seen by the doctor. And if you can't see the doctor, just go straight to the labor and delivery department. Lightly insist on having a doctor to come and evaluate you. You need to make sure as a patient they ask questions. Make sure you're clear about the decreased fetal movement. Speak up and, and make sure that you aren't just rushed out of labor and delivery or rushed out of the doctor's office without a full evaluation. And I recommend really in these cases that you uh, be hooked up and evaluated for at least an hour because uh, during an hour or more period the, the nurses and the doctors can see what's going on with the baby. Now, you might have heard on a TV show or something that someone flatlined on an EKG. Well, it's the same thing on a fetal monitor strip. When you look at that tracing, you want to see a lot of variability in movement in, in the strip and in the tracing. If you see something that's low and non-reactive, no bumps or just almost a flat line, that's something that needs serious evaluation. It might even mean it's necessary for an emergency delivery. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go in and tell the doctors and the nurses uh, how to practice nursing and medicine. But you can, as a mom or a family member, communicate things that you see, communicate things that you feel, and make sure they have the information they need. Make sure that you're getting the attention from the healthcare providers that you need. Because quite often, these injuries can be avoidable. If you've been in a situation where there's been a labor and delivery or a birth-related injury, you're always welcome to contact us at Painter Law Firm. Our number is 281-580-8800, or you can also reach us on the web at painterfirm.com.